2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, really looking forward to some exciting play from our featured group today. This player has hinted at a rivalry with their playing partner this week. No kidding Henny, this player, he seems to have picked out Bubba Watson as the man to beat. That's ambitious. Luke, you know when you think that you've got a player on the ropes, maybe they're in the middle of the trees, in the middle of a bunker, and you think they've got no shot. And then they do, in fact, put it to two feet. And then you're really frustrated. That's Bubba every single time. He's that player. No, you can't out Bubba Bubba, can you? Uh, there's nothing elementary about this, Watson, is there? Can't wait to see how this rivalry plays out, though. Ooh, back there, Horsey. Good shot there, Beamer. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt 18 feet from the cup. This is their look at birdie. This has eyes for the hole. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. He's currently tied for first. Love the long holes. Welcome to the par five. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great win. Well, you'd have to think this person's got a head full of confidence, Rich, coming off a last start win. The game is coming easy to this player right now, so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. And here we are with the third shot. Game of the seven. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. And now to Bubba Watson. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's frustrating. OK, let's get back to the action. This putt coming up is for birdie. Surely it's going to. Big putt for par coming up. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. John Rahm holds a familiar spot of top spot on this leaderboard. Let's go down to John McCarthy for our on-course report. And John, you've now had some time to walk the course this week before today's show. What are we in for today at the Jacobson Homestead? Well, Luke, yes, I love walking around this rural setting. Not a whole lot of trouble to start off with, but things heat up quite a bit when you hit the seventh hole par four. Has a dog leg left and a few bunkers and trees to deal with off the tee. Back nine opens with a narrow and lengthy par five, but that's really as tricky as it gets. I guess there is a it gets a little swampy on the 15th, uh, but the water generally won't be a factor for many players out there in the field they save the most challenging tee shot for the 18th uh, which leads up to an elevated green for the approach that will be a fun hole to watch this week hopefully provide some drama coming down the final stretch let's see what happens guys let's return to live play now getting ready to play their third Wow, that almost went in the hole. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Judging it beautifully. And he needs this to save par. Looking at the scoreboard, they currently sit in second place behind John Rahm. 
Now we're on the fourth tee here at Jacobson Homestead, and it's a par three, playing 181 off the back tees. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this par three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? And how about that for confidence? Going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Wonderful shot. And that will take him to one under. As we move along to the next hole, they're currently tied at the top of the leaderboard with John Rahm. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. The great Severano Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers. And I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision. The imagination, he's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. Well, this one's right at the pin. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. As we head now to the par five next. Not a bad line, this one. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are if you don't pull off that shot well shame on you so i think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say well i don't want to miss it there because that's dead i've seen it happen before when you go into a new golf course luke you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side don't get too greedy don't try and make too many things happen go in there find some fairways find some greens pull a few putts here and there Get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins. And now at three under overall. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. That's nicely done. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. Second shot here. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Rich, Canadian golf has had a number of people to be able to hang their hat on over the years. Obviously, most recent on the men's side, Mike Weir is a major winner. But the impact that Brooke Henderson has had on the game seems to have been even more significant. It has been, and she doesn't carry the mantle just for 
uh, women's golf in Canada. She carries a mantle for Canadian golf in general. She's such an amazing, delightful young lady to be around. Her personality is, is uh, infectious. She's just a good soul. And she carries that around to the golf course. Two-time major winner. But what I'm impressed about most with her game, Luke, is the fact that, you know, she is such a long hitter in the game. You don't quite see too many women in the game right now that they don't talk about hitting it long like we do in the men's game. But make no bones about it, she hits it a long way out there. That gives her a massive advantage over some of the other players, and that's why she is such a prolific winner on the LPGA. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Ouch, that hurts. Let's get back to it, shall we? A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Little birdie look in here. Putt is underway. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And that will take him to five under. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. This shot from around the 200-yard marker. I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Not afraid to go deep. This putts for six under par. Like the look of this one. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will move him to six under par. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Wonderfully played. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. I expect more of the same this week. Handy effort, that one. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Oh, what a super shot. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Good shot there from about 100 yards.
See if he can get that one to come back to the left a little. A wonderful shot. A chance for Bernie here on the 11th. And now to Bubba Watson. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, that one will play. Well, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. This is buckets. That'll sting a bit. Three feet to go here to the hole. Currently eight under for the round. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. The tempo there was exquisite. Most golfers these days, Rich, are, are quite generic style players. It's that hit it as far as you can, knock it on the green, try and hold some parts. But with Bubba Watson, we just got the artist back in the game, didn't we? We had someone who was prepared to do whatever it needed to be to get that ball in the hole. He's just astonishing to watch. You know, to me, Luke, I think Bubba was born in the wrong era. I think he would have been better served with persimmon woods, a lot of golf balls, and and blades and i think that he would be an even bigger impact on the game than he currently is if that's even possible i watch what he does with the modern equipment and it's mind-blowing he's one of the few players luke that i will actually go in the driving range and watch hit golf shots because it is so fun to watch him aim 30 yards left and just try and hit these big sweeping hooks and fades and every i mean it's just unbelievable what he can do with the golf ball. His eye-hand coordination is simply the best in the game. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. And we find ourselves on the tee, one of the stronger par fours on the back nine here at Jacobson Homestead. The 14th playing 483 reach from the tips. That generous landing area, thankfully out to the right-hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. I'll tell you what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. This one needs to kick left. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Now, eight shots in front. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Absolutely flushed. Playing from around 230 yards.
Seems to have chosen the three wood. That should set up another chance. What's in front of them, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Just didn't drop. Oh, that would have been outstanding to make the eagle. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that is simply brilliant. What a shot. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Going with the nine iron, I think. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that's a great approach shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And with that part hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Nicely done. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well struck from around 220 yards. Going with a three wood here. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Putting for birdie here. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And now that finds him in first place. Rich, we find ourselves at the finishing hole here at Jacobson Homestead. And, and it seems strange to be playing it just at 400 yards. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees, and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. This one needs to kick left and kick left hard. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. This one's online. Well, Rich, they say winning becomes a habit, and this player's certainly making a habit of it. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour.
I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.